Hello, hello everybody, it's Maya. This month, two of you asked me to make some astrology videos, right? It's been a while since I've made any astrology videos. So what I decided to do is a two-part series on the planet Jupiter and you're watching part one of this series. I picked Jupiter because I've been doing a lot of work recently around Saturn, my Saturn series, my Saturn diaries, and Jupiter is like the antidote to Saturn. So where Saturn is all about like restriction and rules and regulations, Jupiter is all about luck and expansion and goodness and positivity and all these wonderful things. Let's talk about Jupiter. I'm going to be talking about Jupiter through the signs. You want to see what sign your Jupiter is in. Like, do you have Jupiter in Aries? Do you have Jupiter in Taurus? Like, what sign is your Jupiter in? And I'm going to be putting timestamps here below the video so you can click to your particular Jupiter sign. What the Jupiter sign has to do with, in my opinion, is it has to do with what your particular gift is like because Jupiter can bring us gifts or luck in particular things so it'll tell you what your gift is and then it also tells you when what time of year you might be luckiest what time of year you might want to buy that lottery ticket what time of year you might want to apply for your dream job that kind of stuff so in this video we're going to be talking about the what of Jupiter and the when of Jupiter and then there's gonna be a part two to this video coming out on Friday and in that video we're gonna talk about the where what area of your life this shows up in. and so when you combine all of it when you combine the what and when with the where which you'll get in part two that's how you can get really really specific any free chart generator online should be able to tell you your Jupiter sign so let's jump right in You're going to have luck in leadership. Any leadership position you're going to be really, really great at. You know, it could literally be anything from being like a nature guide or something like that to being the president. You're going to have a lot of luck for just like jumping right in to a leadership position, put you in front of a, a group of people, and you're going to do really, really good. You're going to do better than most. You also will have luck in independent pursuits. Maybe you want to travel by yourself, or maybe you go through a time where you're kind of single and for some people that might be like a really dark time but when you have Jupiter and Aries maybe you it's actually a really lucky time for you it depends on by the way like how your Jupiter is aspected but just speaking in general you'll have more luck around sports um, sports physical pursuits like anything really physical with the body competition especially individual sporting pursuits as well like track and field or swimming or like stuff like that Jupiter in Aries, you could just be like really, really good at surviving any life circumstance. You can find your confidence to be able to get through anything. Jupiter and Aries will give you a good sense of self and it will give you confidence in yourself. It can help you to get things started. It can give you luck in starting out new things. And it can also give you luck when you follow your impulses. So for some other signs, you know, if they just get a random idea, oh, I'm just gonna go across the country on a road trip or whatever, and I'm just gonna move all to a new area, and hopefully I'll get a job there. For a lot of people, that wouldn't work out. For somebody with Jupiter and Aries, when they follow that impulsive nature within them, things are a lot more likely to work out. And with Jupiter and Aries, you probably also have beginner's luck as well. You might be trying something that you've never done before, and other people around you might be stumbling, but you might really find that you pick it up really fast. Your luckiest dates of the year are going to be when the sun is in Aries. So from March 21st, to April 20th of every year. Those are times where you might take a little bit more of a risk. That could be a lucky time for you every year. Your special gifts include a gift of knowing your worth as an individual. A lot of people walk around in the world and they may feel really horrible about themselves no matter how they look no matter what their job is like they don't have that sense of worthiness and when you have jupiter and taurus it's giving you that feeling of worthiness and that is something 
to be very, very grateful for. That is not something to take for granted. Jupiter and Taurus can also give you a sense of what is valuable. This can really help you, especially in the long term, it can help you to make solid investments and to gather around you things that are truly valuable, that are truly beautiful. It can expand your money. Jupiter and Taurus can give you luck when it comes to finances and investments. And Jupiter and Taurus can also expand your income as well. When it comes time to negotiate a salary, you could throw a number out there that was 20-30% higher than other people applying to the same job and you may get that higher salary. It will give you gifts in being patient and in being able to kind of like go through all of the steps of a process to get to the outcome that you value. Or you can be more of a magnet for really nice things. Maybe you have the opportunity to be like a restaurant reviewer or something like that and you get to eat at all these five-star restaurants and enjoy all this wonderful food or maybe you go to the salon and while you're there you get free samples of just wonderful spa products you're just going to be more of a magnet for these sort of luxurious experiences you may have a gift as well for cooking or you just may be blessed with good food around you and you may have a gift for beauty. Jupiter and Taurus could make you really beautiful because Taurus is ruled by Venus, so with Jupiter there, you're probably a lot more beautiful than you actually realize, but it can also give you the gift in making other things beautiful. Like it could give you a gift in interior design or things like that or art. Your luckiest times of year will be from April 21st to May 21st of every year. This is my placement and I love it very much. Your gift is around words and how you use them. You can generate words and ideas really, really quickly and dazzle other people with your communication skills. Jupiter Gemini also gives you a curiosity, which I think is a huge gift to be able to be curious about other people, other cultures, ideas, stuff like that. So you can just learn like a little bit about everything and as a result then you can relate to all different kinds of people and that can really open the world up. The gift of being able to see things from multiple perspectives. People can get really locked into thinking this is the only way. But with Jupiter in Gemini, you can be with somebody and you can just take on their belief system. So you're just a very, very agile mind. You could be super good at debating or being a journalist. Jupiter in Gemini gives you the gifts of speaking, gifts related to writing, and gifts related to teaching. It can give you intelligence, especially worldly intelligence, quickness. Jupiter in Gemini can give you a gift for asking questions, which can be really good if you're an interviewer, if you are a journalist, it can be really good in school, knowing how to bring out and pull out those thought-provoking questions. Gifts in working with your hands, anything that has to do with with your hands, you know, that could be painting, that could be sewing, football. With Jupiter and Gemini, your luckiest times of year will be May 22nd to June 21st of every year. And you guys, like I said, I have this placement and that is my magical time of year, every single year. That's the time of year when I created this YouTube channel. That's the time of year when I've gotten just a whole bunch of like really awesome job opportunities and stuff like that. So. Three cheers for Gemini season. <laughs> the gift of clairsentience or clear feeling. This will almost definitely make you an empath, somebody who's able to feel into the emotions of other people. You could have a special mom. You could have a mom with a lot of wisdom or be really lucky with a mom who is able to teach you a lot. Cancer Jupiter can give you a really good maternal instinct and it can give you really good luck if you do choose to have children. You can have luck related to home, either to the family that you were born into, like you're just blessed with a wonderful family, maybe with a lot of family gatherings. Again, it depends on how your Jupiter is aspected, where you just have a wonderful home to, to go home to, where you're able to get like a larger house or you're really, you get a lot of luck in your negotiations when you go to buy a house or your house is on wonderful property, on wonderful land. It can also give you a gift 
in real estate, so inherited gifts where you inherit some sort of gift or special ability from your family. And if you have Jupiter in Cancer, your luckiest dates of the year will be June 22nd to July 22nd of every year. Your gift is that you have stage presence. You're able to dazzle people with your talents. The gift of being able to be recognized for your talents, your creative abilities. It can just make you so magnanimous. You probably have a creative gift. It could be something like in theater, or it could be acting, or it could be singing. You also have the gift of knowing how to have fun. You might not think that that's much of a gift, but it is, trust me. If you've ever had a close friend that's maybe a Virgo or Capricorn or something like that, you should realize that knowing how to have fun is not something that everybody necessarily knows. And being able to like make any situation fun and lively and stuff like that, that's a Jupiter and Leo gift. And that's something that people really, really appreciate in a person. Jupiter and Leo can also give you the gift of generosity. It can give you gifts related to your hobbies and your recreation. You just have so many things that you love doing. Maybe you love skydiving and you're really good at theater and you're a really good dancer and you just your life is really filled with all of these fun things that you really enjoy. Jupiter and Leo can also make dating really fun for you. So it can give you really good luck in just like dating for fun, getting to know people for fun. It can really just make life a lot more enjoyable and if you have Jupiter in Leo your luckiest times of year are July 23rd to August 22nd of each year. One of your gifts is that you can be really really detail oriented so this can be a really good placement for luck in the workplace. You know how to make really really good plans you are always on top of things, but you're also going to be really, really intelligent. A lot more intelligent than just the average person, most likely, particularly when it comes to analysis. You're given the gift of a strong work ethic, especially work in service industries or in health industries. You might get lucky with having good co-workers or good employees. With Jupiter and Virgo, you can be lucky with getting work. Let's say you lose a job or something like that. You should have luck in the application process getting another new job. As long as you keep your sights set on being of service to others. Have luck for settling into a positive day-to-day -day routine. So some people really struggle with day-to-day -day life, like it just seems too daunting, they just can't do it. With Jupiter and Virgo, you have luck. If you want to switch up your routine, an earlier bedtime, or you want to try a new diet, or a new health regime, or supplement, that stuff should work really well for you with Jupiter in Virgo. Anything that you do to try to like improve your nutrition, your health. Maybe you have a best friend and maybe their Jupiter is in Aquarius and you both try taking the same supplement. Maybe you both take a vitamin B complex. Your friend with Jupiter in Aquarius doesn't really notice any difference. You take it and your energy goes through the roof. If you have Jupiter in Virgo, a really lucky time for you can be August 23rd to September 23rd of each year. You have the gift of diplomacy and mediation. You're able to help disparate parties see eye to eye or to get along. And this is a really good gift. I mean, this makes you a really important person in any room. You have the gift of being able to see things from multiple perspectives and you have the gift of being able to keep harmony amongst other people. And we all appreciate someone with these good Libra qualities. You could have luck in the realms of law or any sort of career related to mediation. You may also be really lucky when it comes to one-on-one -on -one relationships. And that could include luck when and if you do get married, but also luck as it relates to your friendships, your business partnerships. You might attract a really, really philosophical, really intelligent, or even a foreign spouse or significant other might have luck attracting a business partner 
who's very intelligent, very wise, or from a foreign culture. You definitely have the gifts of kindness, gentleness, and harmony, and you have the gift of being able to promote kindness, gentleness, and harmony in others. And if you have Jupiter in Libra, your luckiest times of year will be September 24th to October 23rd of each year. You have the gift of being able to see below the surface. Jupiter in Scorpio can see right through the lies. You also have the gift of being able to keep secrets. Most people are not able to do that. But I would say, I don't know, I feel like a lot of signs are not able to really keep secrets, but with Jupiter in Scorpio, you're able to keep things hidden. You may have luck in combining your finances with other people, getting in a relationship with somebody who is wealthy or something like that. Again, depending on how this is aspected and your money really grows when you put it together, you could inherit money, especially when somebody passes on. You'll have luck in the occult, you try to do a manifestation ceremony or even a spell, you pick up some tarot cards or something like that. For some people, nothing will happen. If you have Jupiter in Scorpio, something will probably happen for you. You'll be more prone to these mystical, magical experiences, which is really cool. So I have a gift for understanding psychology and a gift for investigating. If you ever wanted to be an investigative reporter or something like that, or you wanted to solve mysteries or crimes, Jupiter and Scorpio would be good for that. Jupiter and Scorpio can also give you a very good sex appeal. It can make you really sultry. It can make you really mysterious. So if you have Jupiter and Scorpio, your luckiest times of year are October 24th to November 22nd of each year. This is the exalted placement for Jupiter, meaning it's the, the sort of best placement. It's the natural home of Jupiter. It means that you have a gift for being very wise. You're a very, very wise person. You're a very, very philosophical, very, very thoughtful person. Jupiter in Sagittarius will also make you optimistic and that is very much appreciated in this modern age. If you have Jupiter in Sagittarius, you really should consider going for higher education, whether it's like a religious education or university or PhD or masters, because these are gonna be such expansive experiences for you. And if you can actually get an education in a foreign culture or pretty far away from where you were raised, that should be even more lucky for you. And you may find that you're able to get more scholarships or grants or things like that than other people. Luck as it pertains to spirituality and religion. So for some people, religious pursuits can be kind of unfulfilling. For somebody with Jupiter in Sagittarius, you might find that religion is so expansive to you that opens up the entire cosmos for you and you might find that you even want to go live in a monastery for a while or that you want to become a priest or any of these things or you want to become a professor at a university, Jupiter and Sagittarius can give you gifts in those areas. And if you have Jupiter and Sagittarius, your luckiest time of year will be November 23rd to November 21st of each year. You have gifts that relate to your career. You'll have an easier time than most people building a career in the long term, building your reputation. You may have luck if you decide to be an entrepreneur. You could also have gifts related to politics or a political career. It's going to bless your reputation, or at least it's going to expand your reputation. Whatever that reputation is, it's like more people are going to know your name, especially as you get older in life. Jupiter in Capricorn can bless any pursuits that you do in an organizational context. Jupiter in Capricorn will help you rise into management gifts for managing your time and managing your resources. What it gives you is everything that you need to build a stable and successful career. You might have a father that teaches you a lot about life. And sometimes that can come through having a father or a dominant parent who is amazing and they teach you everything that you need to know. Sometimes we can learn a lot from having a parent who maybe makes a lot of mistakes but we learn from their mistakes and we succeed as a result. Gifts for management, for resource management, right? Time management, for being a manager, 
you're going to have those gifts. With Jupiter and Capricorn, it can make you very disciplined. It can give you luck when it comes to your goals, to achieving your goals, and to achieving long-term stability. If you have Jupiter in Capricorn, your luckiest times of year for getting that new job or founding that business will be December 22nd to January 20th of each year. You have the gift of individuality, being a truly unique person in this world and being really, really innovative, being able to even be an inventor sometimes. Jupiter in Aquarius can give you dreams. Some people are walking through life and they don't know what they're doing here. They don't have that bigger dream. But with Jupiter in Aquarius, it's going to expand your dreams, it's going to make your dreams bigger, and it's going to bring to you people who can help you actually make those dreams real. Just don't stop dreaming. Good luck in any groups or clubs that you choose to be a part of. It's definitely lucky for someone with Jupiter in Aquarius to join that society, join that club, join that group, go to conferences, make friends, network. You have gifts as they relate to people resources. Luck when you get involved in humanitarian pursuits. So let's say you've always wanted to do something that's sort of humanitarian. Maybe you wanted to do some ecotourism or you've always wanted to be a part of somebody's political campaign or something like that. With Jupiter and Aquarius, if you actually go for it and you do those things, it's very likely that good things will happen. You know, Jupiter and Aquarius can give you the gift of freedom from attachment where you can't really be kind of tied down and you're always able to see the sort of big picture perspective. Your luckiest times of year will be from June 21st to February 19th of each year. Such a beautiful placement. I love Pisces. You have the gift of imagination and creativity. There's so many people in this world that are detached from the art of life. They're not able to tune into the beauty of the poetry. They're not in flow with the color and the deep richness of life. But with Jupiter in Pisces, you are in touch with that. You have an incredible, incredible imagination. Jupiter in Pisces is, I would say, more likely than others to succeed as an artist, for example. Jupiter in Pisces can make you very idealistic. You can see the world with rose-colored glasses, and sometimes we can get hard on people who see the world in that way, but actually everybody really loves the people that see the world in that way because you guys are what make the world really, really beautiful. It'll give you the gift of clairvoyance and it can give you very good intuition. The type of intuition where you just know things. You might not know how you know, but you get the really good first impressions when you meet people or you just have a very good sense of what's going on below the surface. For the gift of sensitivity as well. Not only psychic sensitivity, but the ability to be really sensitive of other people's thoughts and feelings, so it could make you a really good counselor, for example. I think Jupiter and Pisces, it could bless you with water. Pisces is really affiliated with fish in the ocean and things like that. So it could mean that being around water, if you live on a coastal line or near water, that could be really lucky for you. The gift of compassion. Compassion for living things, for animals, for people. It gives you the gift of gentleness. It gives you such a kind and beautiful spirit. Yeah, Jupiter Pisces just makes you such a wonderful, sensitive, imaginative, artistic, creative, and kind individual. And if you have Jupiter Pisces, your luckiest times of year will be from February 20th to March 20th of each year.